All right, guys, if this was a Star Wars movie, this would be a prequel. So this is the Saturday before I fished Sunday with Moon Pie. Now, the Sunday Moon Pie fishing is the show y'all actually watch Tuesday. So I reversed them because the fishing was quite a bit better Sunday because we were able to get out and run around. And frankly, so you're going to see I'm going into Caney, and I stayed in Caney all day because the wind was screaming. And quite frankly, I didn't have the right tackle to be out there and you'll see why here in just a minute. But I did want to post that because, hey, you don't always catch them every day you go out on Rayburn. And uh, here comes some proof of it. Well, good morning to you. Sorry for the super close-up. In case you were uh, looking at the background of this and thinking, oh, that don't look like a bass cat, you would be correct. I am in... My old friend Bill Wilcox, all you guys at Texas know Bill from Honey Hole Outdoor TV for years and years and years and years. I think he told me they did 20 years of 52 shows a year, which is just, I mean, look, I've done a bunch of, you know, several years now of a couple of shows a week on YouTube, but that's not the same thing, man, let me tell you. Uh, <coughs> those were all fishing for him, so I tell you what. <coughs> <coughs> I don't know what those are. Cuda. That's the best pair of clippers I've ever seen. Those things are unbelievable. Anyway, uh, Bill and his partner Marty are here fishing the Brandon Bell. And uh, we hadn't been down in a long time. And Sarah had, she's got a little project there at the house she wanted to get on. So we came down with no boat. And Bill and Marty fished out of Marty's Skeeter. And I got Bill's FXR21. I think I said that right. It's a 21 FXR or FXR21. And I will tell you, I'll, you know, I said this when I when I checked when I when I originally looked the uh, Skeeter. Man, they're just great platforms. You know, I fished out of one for years, but uh, it's it's a great fishing platform. It's a big wide boat. It runs good. It's fast. It's got a great hole shot. Uh, I'm just a good boat. So, anyway, got a day to come out here and fish a little bit, and uh, we'll take y'all along and see if we can catch a few fish. It's it's already after ten. We got a really late start, but uh, we're gonna wind it around a little bit and see if we can get a bite. I just got to share. <coughs> I just got to share what just happened. Uh, after you guys saw that video with Dickie and I at Lake of the Pines last week, I saw some fish on the live scope and I fired the trap out there. There's a couple of good ones in there. And I saw, I, I, jumped, I just jumped in Bill's boat this morning. I did not bring any tackle, not knowing that he pulled his trap box out. So I found a trap, a single trap on one of Bill's rods in the box over here. It has, it had really, really oversized hooks on it. I had, I brought one little bag of baits and I stole a, a little smaller, but still not a thin wire hook off of one of those baits and put it on the back. And I just pulled that trap out across there and it went dunk and I stuck a fish and it was obviously in the back because it went and just pulled off. And I'm telling you right now, that's a fish. But had I had the right hooks, which I will tomorrow, I'm going to fish tomorrow with Moon Pie. Had I had the right hooks on that bait, I might not have caught it, but I'd for sure got a look at it. So those are, uh, you know, so I've shortened up that back hook. He had put big oversized hooks on this trap at some point. But um, I, don't like the, I don't like the rattle of it as much with the bigger hooks, and I sure don't like the loss of penetration power that you don't get. I mean, that's a short shank brown bent hook but it's a much heavier wire hook than those little finesse hooks we talked about. So anyway, one thump that I did not boat. Hopefully the next one will eat it and we can actually get a look at him. Are y'all throwing a trap? What? Are y'all throwing a trap? No. Yeah, 
up in. We're just kind of rotating through a bunch of stuff. They just keep slapping it. That one got it, but they keep slapping at it. Just had one slap it right there. Why I have to Three and a half hours of fishing, I had seven bites on a trap, six slaps and one catch. Didn't have the right hooks. When that happens, normally I will rotate to one of three options. Either a different color trap uh, or rattle bait, different rattle bait altogether. Didn't have that option in the boat. Uh, or a chatter bait. There was not a single chatter bait in the boat. Bill had taken that entire box with him. Uh, or a, a schwank, uh, which is a six cents bait. And you're going to hear me reference this. This is the second cast with it. You're going to hear me reference it as a swank. And then when I get it in the boat and look at it, I realize the color, it's probably a striking, striking hybrid hunter. But, you know, this is right at the end of the day. I, I wish I'd have had other bait options or thrown this a little bit more. It took me, I, I just kept digging until I finally found this down in a box. But, uh, you know, not a bad day, just not a lot of catches on this particular day. It didn't take long with a swank. Pretty quick on a hybrid hunter. Alright, so short day, not a lot of action, but I did get a little time on the water. Got to spend a little time in a skeeter. And, and one other observation about the boat, to clarify something, I've told several guys, and then an additional observation about the Minn Kota. And uh, I'll stick those in right here, and thank you guys for tuning in. You know, I want to make uh, two other observations from spending the day in the Skeeter FXR21 or 21 FXR. And the first one is, in my first video and in subsequent conversations with a bunch of you guys. Guys, my, my video freezes here, but my audio stays good. So I'm going to let this run and let y'all hear the audio because I think it's a good point to make even though you can't see the video beyond what I'm showing you right here. That I felt like this was a good boat for a big dude because there was a lot of leg room. Now, this, these seats are not adjustable. Either my memory didn't serve me well, or they moved these seats forward. So I am 6'1", just a smidge over 6'1", and just a smidge under 200 pounds. And you can see, I'm, I'm pretty much, I don't have much leg room left. So I've had several guys, 6'3", 6 6'5", 6 6 reach out, and big dudes saying, you know, what would be the best boat for me? And, and I have said this boat, or have said a skier, and I don't know that that's the case. So one of the things you might want to check out. The other thing I'll share with you. Okay, uh, the other thing I'll talk about is uh, this is the first time I got to spend any time fishing with the new Minn Kota Quest. And it's perfect timing because two days before I had spent a day in Dickey's Phoenix fishing with uh, Garmin Force. And so I haven't made up my mind on what I'm going to put on my boat yet. If you remember the first time I fished with a Force, was in uh, Chris's blazer. And if you remember, I didn't like it, mainly because it kept binding up in the grass. Now, apparently they've resolved that problem with a different prop. What I will say to you about the Minn Kota Quest is, it is, so I fish with an Ultrix right now. It is substantially quieter. Uh, not just motor noise quieter, but if you remember, Taylor at Jones Trolling Motor or Marine Electronics told us that they had beefed up that bracket. There is none of that crappy side-to-side -side wiggly noisy stuff in the bracket that I experienced till the day from the day I bought it to the day I sold it with that Ultrax trolling motor. So first off the bat, uh, kudos to them for a much, much better bracket uh, and, and a much more stable bracket and obviously a brushless, much, much quieter motor. 
Um, Wilcox told me the night before, he said, you're going to have to look down and make sure it's on, which if you've got it turned down low, it's absolutely the case. But I will say it is still, I'm going to say at least half again heavier to pull out of the water than uh, the, the force is. Now, Bill did have a 360 on his, but I've talked to several guys about this, and I think overall there, it just takes more effort to lift uh, the Minn Kota out of the water than it does to lift the force and the ghost. The ghost, when I fish with, with Brian with his ghost, it pulls out of the water real easy. So I think I'll be fine with either one of those trolling motors, but I'm, I'm really thinking I'm going to lean, and i got to look at the pricing a little bit, but I think right now, if they're all the same price, I'm going to lean on the force. I, I like how easy it is to pop it up out of the water. They all correct themselves now. When you, when you pull them out of the water, they go to the right spot. Um, I've had some friends who've had some frustrations with the ghost about it backing up when you hit spot lock and, and washing, especially brush tops of brush piles out. Maybe there's an adjustment to fix that. I don't know, but you know, I'm going to go based upon what the feedback I get from my buddies who fish a lot, who've been in these. And, and frankly, you know, moon pie on that Camus that we fished out of, he originally put a ghost on there and went and it cost him some money, but he swapped it and got rid of the ghost. So, um, I, I, I just think the Garmin force is the way I'm going to lean, but like all of us, you know, pricing is going to have a little bit to do with that, but um, that's my two cents. Both of those motors are so much quieter and so much faster than my Ultrax. I'm really excited to have this new uh, brushless technology on my next boat. So thanks for tuning in, guys. We hopefully are going up to Mountain Home uh, next week, late next week or early the following week to pick up the new Puma. And we'll have video from y'all for y'all from that. I'm going to get a chance to hope to talk to Rick a little bit again. I got some questions for him. And uh, then we're going to rig it and we're going to go fishing out of it. So back to you guys soon. Thanks for sticking with me while I've been boatless.